Thanks for tuning in to this tutorial for Read and Write for Google Chrome. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the functions that can help you with your writing, and that's Talk and Type that will turn speech into text. Now to use Talk and Type, you do have to make sure that you have either an internal microphone on your device, or you'll be using a headset with a microphone. So as we begin, we always make sure that we are logged into our TCDSB Google Chrome account. I'm gonna click on my profile icon at the top here, and I can see I'm logged in correctly because I can see my TCDSB email address. I also know I'm logged in because I can see the extensions that are available to all students when you're in your account. And that's Read and Write, Equatio, and PDF Reader. So I'm all set up in Google Chrome. I'm gonna open up a Google Doc here so we can test out the talk and type feature. To pull up the Read and Write toolbar, I'm gonna to click once on the purple puzzle piece. The talk and type icon can be found right in the center of the toolbar, and that's the one with the headset and the microphone. When I click on it, an icon of a microphone will appear on the left side of my page. When it's lit up orange, that means it's recording. So let's give this a try. Here is an example of how I can use Read and Write to help me with my writing, period. New line. Read and Write can help me take notes, comma, get my thoughts down quickly on paper, comma, and it can help me check my work as well, exclamation mark. New line. They're over there with their friends. Period. How long do I have to wait? Question mark. I can disengage the microphone anytime by clicking on the icon or by clicking on the talk and type icon in the toolbar. A couple of things you may have noticed. The first thing is that you do have to specify your punctuation when you're using speech to text. So I did have to tell read and write where I wanted a comma or a period or a new line, for example. The other thing you may have noticed is that when I said this sentence here as an example, Read and Write was quite intuitive with the grammar. Now Read and Write is quite accurate when it comes to listening to speech and turning it into text, but it's not accurate 100% of the time. So you do wanna check your work. One way I can do this is by using the text to speech function. I can highlight the text and click on the play button to have it read back to me. Here's an example of how I can use Read and Write to help me with my writing. Read and Write can help me take notes, get my thoughts down quickly on paper, and you can help me. So by doing this, I noticed there was one error here that I can go ahead and fix. And that's Read and Write's talk and type feature. If you need some help with writing or typing, give it a try and see what Read and Write can do for you. Thanks for watching.